This is the day where we have 80 jerseys that blend into one blue river. One blue river that flows constantly. The end of the river, the empty end of the sea as one. That's how we roll. Same here, bro, Sarah. Hey, bro. Well, hello, gentlemen. How are you? Doing well. Awesome. Well, I have the distinct pleasure of being with two additional Sarah Padre coaches, Coach McGee and Coach Thomas, who we haven't had a chance to have on the podcast. So this is very exciting. We always talk with Walsh and he speaks so highly of you both, but it'll be really nice to hear just about some of your experiences with the boys. And uh, so um, Coach Thomas, why don't you tell me a little bit about your experience here at Sarah? I know that you are obviously an alum, but about um, being a coach here, like when you started, what you do and your philosophy. Yeah. Um, well, this is year, I think eight for me, um, been around it, obviously played for coach Walsh all those years ago. And, and I just really love and try to embody everything that Sarah football has brought for me. And I try and give that back to the kids. Um, it's a lot of things that, that kind of go with it, you know, each, each position group and everything we do on defense really kind of comes with continuity i think like i love our staff i love everything that we talk about love brotherhood and humility so a lot of that the things that we do it's it's really easy to present to the kids because we're trying to live that i'm trying to live that as a coach outside of coaching football so um everything he's done for me is has really brought me back here and coaching these kids has really been fun and we got a new group this year so we're really excited about that but um can't really rest on on last year's successes and the years before, so we got to get rolling this year. It's a new team, but I mean, with with such an amazing, uh, talented group of coaches, I have every confidence that you will will pull out amazing results as well. Coach McGee, can you tell me a little bit about your experiences here? Yeah, yeah. So um, this is uh, year seventeen for me, and wow. uh, you know, Coach Walsh and I met. Uh, we were working together back in uh, two thousand and five, and I was coaching at Burlingame High School at the time. And it's actually kind of a connection to Coach Thomas. Uh, his senior year, they were in a playoff game uh, at City College in San Jose, and uh, I was on the sideline. And that was the first time I actually got to see, you know, what Sarah football was really about. And uh, you know, I could see the brotherhood. I can see the, the competitive spirit. And you know, just getting to know Coach Walsh during that time, I could see kind of you know a lot of his a lot of his characteristics I could see in the team. And so, uh, you know, him and I went to lunch shortly after the season ended and, you know, we just had a like a couple hour conversation. And after that, to me, you know, it was a no brainer. Like, you know, I wanted to to be a part of the program and, you know, we've had uh, we've had some great success. We've had a lot of just really good, you know, good guys come through the program. And, and like Coach said, you know, this last we've had a lot of continuity with the coaching staff, too, over the last Geez, what are we going now? Six, six seven yeah. years now, it's nice. and uh, you know, so it makes it fun to come out here, you know, every day, not just to you know be with the be with the kids, but also be with the coaches. That's great. What do you think sets? You know, you have experience um, at Burlingame. Did you where did you go to high school? I went to Ocean and Pacifica and Terra Nova as well. Oh, okay, so you have a lot of experience, uh, you know, in other in other schools. What do you think sets um, the Padres apart? Well, I think it starts with the brotherhood first and foremost. Um, it's uh, it's really clear that our guys play for one another, and it's something that we all talk about as as a, as a staff. We try to make sure we drive that point home, and you see it. You know, um, I can be I can be traveling. I've been you know at the airport just wearing a Sarah hat or a Sarah jacket, and someone has come up to me and said, you know, hey, I went to Sarah back in the '70s, and uh, you could just see them light up. And so to me, a big part of what we do on the field and the product that you see in the field comes out of that brotherhood. Very nice. And uh, Coach Thomas, as as an alum, as well as a football player and now as a coach, how do you believe um, or how do you um, draw from your experiences as a as a player and alum as you coach these young men? Yeah, I think. um, Well, I think it's easy because none of the stuff has really changed. All the stuff that he's told us when we were freshman and in 03 to graduate in 07. And it's all it's all very it's the same language. Mm -hmm. And He's still the same fiery guy, and he expects a lot of other, out of the coaches. And we get along really well together, and we have our group chats, and we have our things that we go out to. And you know, I think it. I think the big thing is a lot of it just continues to stem from our staff and and the guys who have come and gone, and, and the guys that we have, and continue to stay here and go, be here. in in May, like Coach McGee said, seventeen years, like that's phenomenal. Like that's that doesn't amazing. really happen, right? And then we've had our staff since two thousand eighteen, and. You know, we work together, we, we um, talk together, we joke together, like all the things that happen on the field, we, we're rooting for each position group, um, whether it's uh, <laughs> making jokes about it or <laughs> whatever it is, but it's like, 
we just feed off each other. And I think a lot of the kids feed off of, of us being and like one, seven one on another seven. and, seven and on being around each other. But um, that, that common language that he's had since 2001 has, has really never changed and it's, it's always been the same. So it's really easy for us to, uh, as coaches to, to get behind it, believe it, and then convey it to the kids. Awesome. Well, I mean, it's it's a beautiful day here. We're at our second annual uh, showcase. It's such a great blend of two wonderful programs who really do kind of stand with the same value system with, you know, the faith interwoven with brotherhood. Um, can you just talk a little bit about the day? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, for, for me and my group, it was it was a fairly simple, quick 15 minute de <laughs> defensive individual. Um, we practice our drills. It's it's not like I had uh, Jabari Mann and, and Danny Niu walking through the doors <laughs> this year or Michael Pedrotti. So um, the group is new. Um, I'm very excited to, to coach this year because I didn't do a lot of that last year. That's the running joke on staff as well. Didn't need so, to. <laughs> <laughs> didn't really have to. On autopilot. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> throughout the year. So, it was a great team. Um, but it was great. I mean, my, ga my guys gave, like, really good effort. Um, it was really nice to see them, um, like, kind of transition from Monday to Thursday. It didn't seem like they were really nervous. Um, they got out there. They played fast. They had really good effort. Uh, and that's really all I can ask for in four days into spring. So Great. Um, I've been making the joke on the staff about last year and the year before wanting to, to fast forward to August. Well, this year I need every day in spring and every day <laughs> in summer um, to get my guys ready. But uh, we're really excited. Young group, um, really talented. Um, but also fun. They make a lot of jokes, and, and I'm excited to be a, uh, be a part of it. Very nice. Yeah, you know, I, just to add to, to Coach Thomas, Thomas's comments there, I think that um, what was really cool to see is, you know, guys stepped up. So we have some guys that are still, you know, which is a good thing out, you know, in track and baseball, some other sports are still competing. So, you know, guys had an opportunity to show what they can do. And, you know, uh, I, for my group in the safeties, Isaiah Semifua had a great day. Nice. Uh, Malachi Tafo, young guy, had a great day. And then, you know, Teddy Chung, who's been, you know, he's been consistent in the secondary the last two years. You know, he just shows his, his, his growth and um, even as a leader. So it was really good to see these guys get the opportunity and make the best of it. That's great to know. And I, I, you know, was able to watch a lot of freshman games last year. And there's a lot of really great skills players that are coming up. Um, I, I feel like I wouldn't be asking the right questions if I didn't say, I mean, obviously, we've come off, you know, three years of going to state to play, you know, arguably the best team in the country. There's all the hype around here. And I know a lot of people are looking at Sarah High School saying, OK, what what's what's uh, in store for this year? You you guys just both said there's a lot of promise. But in terms of coaching, you know, we're not going to assess our players yet. Right. But in terms of coaching, um, you know, what are like some what's the philosophy going in when I mean and not just for this year I mean I'm sure you've had other teams that are just as young that have a lot to learn and, and to grow together what what is the Sarah philosophy on you know growing a young team you want to take that to start or your philosophy or, or not or um, not the Sarah I didn't mean to put that yeah. much pressure but well I think I think for us it's it's really getting to know one another understanding your position understanding your role um, understanding that you know we have we have young young guys and um, not getting hung up on that and understanding it's a day by day. Rome wasn't built in a day, but bricks were laid and, and we got to do that. We kind of get kind of get back to the to the hard work. And I guess we can't make assumptions this year. There's sure. no assumptions. We have to assume that our guys don't know it and we have to talk to them, um, you know, that this is what we're doing and this is what you need to do. The expectations of coming from JV to varsity or freshman to varsity is this is how we do things that, you know, they can't really rest on any success of the past years um, because they haven't done it. Um, obviously, we have a few kids who have, but um, really our staff, um, you know, we've we've really put our kids in really good positions over the last, I think, six years since since we've all been together, since I came back with Coach McGee and Coach Walsh and everybody. So we'll continue to do that and evaluate and um, watch a ton of film um, and, and make sure our guys are on point. But I think our defensive philosophy will stay the same. Um, you know, Coach McGee could probably attest to that. So, um, and then obviously Coach Mons, who actually we may not know what he does. We might line up in something completely the different. Mad, right? <laughs> yeah. But he will have statistics to back it <laughs> and <laughs> reasons exactly. for it. <laughs> but it just starts with our, with our hard work. I think a lot of patience and grace with these kids, um, understanding that, you know, they're not who kids that we've had in, in the last few years. So um, that and I think that's the exciting part is, is really developing and getting back to those uh, grassroots kind of thing. Absolutely. Um, yeah. You know, um, it's it's like Coach Thomas said as well earlier, you know, Coach Walsh has been pretty consistent over the years about what our goals are as a program. And one of the goals that we always have is to win WCL. 
And so it doesn't matter who we play during the preseason, you know, what it is for us really is it's a measuring stick. You know, where, how, how good are we? Where are the gaps? What do we need to work on? You know, what do we need to keep doing better? Um, so whether we play, you know, it really doesn't matter who, who our opponents are. I think that, you know, especially with the young team, it's going to tell us a lot about what we need to do going into league and really preparing them to make another, you know, WCAL run. Because that's, you know, ultimately that's that's one of our primary goals, first mm -hmm. and foremost. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Well, I have every confidence that this team of talented coaches will be the best teachers, mentors, and role models to get this team to where they need to be and to have a wonderful season, as you have for many, many decades. And um, and and we, we value you so much. Coach Thomas, you have a podcast right now. You want to just talk about that for a second? Because... One podcast to another. <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean, we got one. Um, it kind of just started on a whim. You know, it really originated in the coach's office with two of our other coaches. And, uh, you know, we really enjoy doing it. It's something fun. It gives us something to do. Um, one of my goals for 2024 was to do something different. That kind of just came about. And we got some people to go with us. And uh, it's been really fun. I think uh, – I think – us just talking i number one i enjoy being around the people i coach with for sure and they're, they're more than just coaches to me they're actually friends and being able to have an outlet to go do something like that um and have some fun and, and make some laughs and, and some jokes is, is really it so it's fantastic and where yeah. can people find it uh, well it's it's called sideline warnings and uh we're on youtube and i'm, I'm not really up to date on all this like social media stuff well we'll tag it on this yeah, one we'll tag it, it so, so everyone can find it that's <laughs> well, wonderful well, thank you i appreciate it but yeah it's fun and we're, we're just really enjoying it and, and just going with it so Very it's cool. super new yeah well we hope to have you guys back on the podcast as the yeah, season goes through me. because uh you you just have so much insight that i know parents and fans and obviously um our athletes want to hear so i do thank you for your time and i thank you for all the hard work you put into our kids yeah. go thank, you, thank you go padres go padres